Hi, this is Laura Santusen from Visible Body, and I'm the education team trainer. And if you would like to create a graded quiz that is customized, in other words, that contains questions from a few different topics or a few different subtopics that you cannot find the exact quiz that you want within the uh, universe of quizzes pre-made up by Visible Body, you probably would like to create your own quiz. And this is probably what you're used to doing in other learning management systems. Um, and you can certainly do that within Visible Body as well. So let's, let's do it right now. So again, let's say that I'd like to create a quiz for the circulatory system. And in this case, I would like to create a quiz that includes also, besides the heart, I would like to also include questions on blood and questions on blood vessels. So basically, I would like to create a quiz that includes uh, pretty much all of the topics within the circulatory system. So I'm going to begin the same way I began um, in our last session. All quizzing within Visible Body is considered an assignment, so I'm going to create a new assignment. And again, here are the four apps, but here's the graded quiz bank, and I'm going to go there again. Now, by default, again, I'm brought to the Visible Body Quiz Bank, which is our bank of actual quizzes, not actual questions, actual quizzes. But I've already figured out that the individual quizzes are not going to fit my needs. I want a quiz that contains all of these, and I don't want to give students three different quizzes. In other words, I don't want to give them one quiz on blood, one quiz on heart, and one quiz on blood vessels and circulation, although I certainly could. But I'd like to combine these all into one quiz. So therefore, I am going to create a new quiz. And that's going to take me to a completely different page that's going to take me to the question bank, which is the universe of all of our questions unbound from quizzes. So I'm going to choose a question type here. And again, we don't mix multiple choice and dissection quizzes within one quiz. So I'm going to choose. And in this case, I'm going to choose multiple choice. And I'm going to click continue. And I'm going to narrow it down the way I did before. I'm going to choose visible body questions. For topic, I'm going to choose the circulatory system. But for subtopic, I'm going to choose all three of these, blood, heart, and blood vessels and circulation. And I'm going to choose, uh, leave Bloom's level as it is, I'm not going to to choose any particular cognitive domain. I'm going to zoom so I can see some of these questions a little bit better. And I see that uh, for this, a whole bunch of different questions come up. So, I can look through these questions if I like, and I can choose the ones I want. As I choose the questions, it makes, it keeps track of how many I've selected. Right now I've selected four. I can also select all these questions. And later on, I can have each uh, quiz uh, select from this pool. In other words, I've, I've selected 50 questions here I can, using the pooling feature, select perhaps 20 of these to be given to the students in their quiz. But in this case, I'm going to select, I'm going to select 
10 questions. You can see I've got 10 questions selected. I can click on each question to take a look at it. Clicking on it and making it turn blue allows me to preview it in the right hand window. But this sounds good to me. This looks good to me. This is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to name my quiz. I'm going to categorize it so I can find it again later if I would like to. Circulatory system. It's not going to be categorized because I include all of the all those, although I can also choose three subtopics and put those in. Um, on the blooms level, I'm just going to put in remembering. And the keywords, I'm going to put circulatory system. At this point, I have the opportunity to configure the quiz. And again, uh, I can pull these questions if I like. I have 10 questions in here now. So obviously, I'd like to if I'm going to pull them, I would put in a lower number than that, but I'm not going to pull them. I can also randomize them or not randomize them. I am going to randomize them. If I decide that I want to add more questions, I can, but I like this the way it is, so I'm going to save it. Now I can either assign it right now, or I can just save it. Now let's see what happens if I just save it. When I come back to this quiz page, the quiz page for Visible Body, which includes the quizzes, I see it, it's right here at the top. Here's the circulatory system multiple choice quiz. If I filter by author, which is me, here it is, here's the quiz. So, so this is great. So here's this quiz and at this point, if I want, I can assign it. So how am I going to assign it? Well, the same way I assign the other pre-made up quizzes. Now that is a pre-made up quiz. So I'm going to create a new assignment. I'm going to go to graded quiz bank. I'm going to click on continue. By default, I'm taken to the quiz bank, the quizzing page. And here's my quiz. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to name it. All these other parameters are the same as we just looked at. The folder is going to be the circulatory system. I'm going to show the correct answers at the end. Point value is going to be one, points. I can give the students three attempts. No time limit, and I'm going to keep the best attempt. And I'm going to save it. And here's my quiz. So if I go back here to my course, here is a circulatory system quiz that I made up and students can take it here. Now, what if I want to edit this? I can. In other words, I can assign, edit the assignment content. I can edit any of this information right here. What if I want to add a dissection quiz? Well, I'd have to make one up, wouldn't I? Actually, here's a circulatory system dissection quiz right here. If 
I click continue, I can add this quiz to. And I have two quizzes that are custom quizzes that do exactly what I want them to do. So if I go here, circulatory system quiz, here are both of those quizzes. Okay, great. Well, I'll be back shortly and we'll talk about further customizations and tweaks, um, both to quizzes or to questions. <laughs>